Hi, it's Karen with RT Systems, and we're going to talk about the Kenwood THD75 radio. And this video may seem really late to the game, but I had a customer that so struggled with this the other day. I felt so bad for him, and I just want to show it to you so you know what to do and what can help you and which route might be easier for you. So, the Kenwood THD75. We are actually going to begin in Kenwood's software because it shows clearly the issue that he was having with his radio. And that is the repeater list in the radio is empty. And I kind of remember this when we first started developing for the THD75. And we were a little surprised, but it is what it is. What he was doing was let's go to Kenwood's website. You'll go to Kenwood Amateur. You'll pick the D75. This is quite a path, so pay attention. You'll click Support. Scroll down Amateur Radio Products Software Downloads. Then scroll down because you are in the master list. So I'm looking for the TH D75, D75, D Star Repeater List. This file is specifically designed to be imported through the Kenwood software. This file cannot be imported into the RT system software. I've looked at it without a great deal of manipulation. It won't import, but we'll address that here in just a minute. So the first thing I'm going to do is download this, and it downloads. And I'm going to go to the directory just to be sure it is in my downloads directory. And if you want to take this route, but what was strange about this call was he had the RT system software and he had the Kenwood software, but he was determined to take this route. So I was determined to help him. So we're going to import repeater list from file. And it's in my downloads directory, and here's the repeater list, and open. And it asks me which one I have, and I tell it OK. And there's my repeater list. The thing is, if you study the data in this file, it is not only the repeater list, it's these group names. It's a lot of other things. It's latitude and longitude broken down into three separate pieces. And that's why I say it cannot be imported into the RT system software. They built this file to work with their software. Once he got it in here, he did communications or program and write data to transceiver. And this then was in his radio. Now, Let's do a comparison. Here is the RT system software for the same radio. Yeah, you get a new radio and you have no memory channels, but you have DR memories. This list and the list we just imported to the Kenwood software are identical. We did the creation for you. We took care of the repeater list, if that's what you want to call it. It's traditionally been called DR Memories. We took care of the bank names that were in that file. We filled them in automatically for you. We took care of the your call signs. I was just looking at the software the Kenwood software, and this comes blank also. This is all your reflectors or other links that you want to make. With the RT system software, everything is complete. So when you send it to the radio, 
you'll be ready to do D star as long as everything's set up right or you know how to use the DR memories and the your call signs and these kind of things. But all the information will be there automatically without you having to go through another step. It'll be in the radio and ready for you to use. One other concern this gentleman had was updating this list. He thought he would go back out to the Kenwood website and pull down a new list occasionally and get an updated list of repeaters. Don't know and kind of doubt it works that way. Let's talk about it. In the RT system software, you have DSTAR and DSTAR calculator. And these are all the repeaters. This list is kept up to date about every two to three months. And if you want something different in this list, and we recommend this highly, unless you travel all over the world, you're not going to use these. So let me make it so you can see well what it's going to do. That was a control A and a control X to make them all go away. They are all gone. D star, D star calculator. Now, I live in the southeast and I want all the repeaters for this area because this is where I'm going to travel and I'm going to apply. I now have a fresh list, one that was pulled from a data source. We actually use repeater book for this data source not more than six weeks ago. So you talk about new repeaters talk about repeaters that should work for me when I'm near them because of course with DR memories I have to be able to hit this repeater to use in conjunction with the your call signs to link to a reflector and then talk on that reflector through that repeater but this is a fresh list of repeaters that will be usable for me because I travel around the southeast customize this list. It may only have two or three repeaters in it because those are the ones you use all the time. But working through DR memories, you can go to any reflector you want. You and your friend can go off to some odd reflector and have a private conversation. It would be wonderful. So keep that in mind. It's easy to do in the RT system software. And you can have that radio set up the way you want it so it performs well for you. So keep that in mind. It's two ways to get the same thing done. Now you see, you have choices. So this is Karen. And remember, if you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. 73s.